Hello friends, welcome to Amos of Webcast and in this video demonstration we are going to see how to perform metadata cleanup in a quick two minutes. So first of all, why metadata cleanup? When a domain controller crashes from a network, Active Directory still assumes that the domain controller is alive and you will see the replication problem. This affects Microsoft uh, Action Servers and other mission critical applications which are dependent on Active Directory uh, for topologies and replication links. Let's check that. Okay, so as you are seeing, we have a uh, two domain controller for our domain mylab.local 2k12 to happen dc02 and 2k3 happen dc01. In the previous video, we have uh, seized an operation master rules from offline domain controller to a new domain controller. So we just seize uh, all these FSMO rules from 2k3 hyphen dc01 and then assign to 2k12 r2 hyphen dc02. So in this video, we are going to clean out the offline domain controller and that is 2k3 hyphen dc01. And this process of removing data in active directory domain service is known as a metadata cleanup. But see, as you are seeing under NTDS settings, still there is a link or application link is there and if you check click on replicate now it will take some time and so whenever if you check for a replication topology changes this will affect your replication topologies and it will create a certain problems so it's better to clean up these records so you can clean up the server metadata by using two methods first clean up server metadata by using GUI tools and so for that you can use uh, Active Directory users and computers or Active Directory sites and service in Windows Server 2000 R2 and uh, second option is you can clean up server metadata using command line utilities known as uh, NDDS utility. So as we got an error message that the following error occurred during the attempt to synchronize the naming context mylab.local from domain controller to k 3 f dc 0 to domain controller to k 12 r 2 f dc 0 The OPC server is unable and this operation will not continue. Uh, first, uh, let's see how we can uh, use dsa.msc means active directory users and computers. So here's the options 2 k 3 f dc 0 1 and then there's the options to delete. Okay, click on yes and then you will get information uh, about deletion. So you are attempting to delete a domain controller without running the removal wizard. To properly remove the domain controller from the domain, you should run remove roles and features wizard in server manager or active directory domain service installation wizard DC promo for Windows Server 2002 or earlier versions of uh, domain controller. So select this, delete this domain controller anyway. It is permanently offline and can no longer be removed using the remote wizard. So you can use uh, these options or you can use say object 2 k 3 f dc one containing the other object. Are you sure you want to delete the object 2 k 3 f dc one And here's the options. Use delete subtree, server control and then click on yes. But for this demo, I will use NTDS util to do that. So let's open the command prompt ntds util then type activate instance ntds then click help under that uh, you will find out metadata cleanup use the options just copy it and then pass metadata cleanup okay now again click help first of all we have to go for connection connections and then we have to run command connect to server and then select the local server that is 2k12 r2 hyphen dc02 okay connect here and now quit again take uh, help so now we have to uh, select the operation target so I just copied it and then paste enter take help now you have a uh, certain options so first under uh, Active Directory Site and Service, initially we will find sites. Under that, we will find domain and then server and then naming context. So, this will be the hierarchical structure. So, we have to select the same criteria over here. First, we have to run the command list sites. Okay. Then, see, we have uh, only one site. Then, we have to run the command select site and then site number. 
Okay, side number is zero. So you know, enter. It says currently site is selected, but no current domain is selected. So to do that, we have to run the command list domains inside. Paste, enter. So we have a single domain, and let's select that domain. Select domain and the number that is zero. Okay, so now it's saying no server is selected. So to do that, we have to run this command. List the server inside. Paste. Let's say we have a two server. So we want to remove remove to K3F and this is run. That's why we have to select server zero. And zero. Okay, so we want to remove all these. Uh, naming context that's why I'm not going to select a uh, current naming context or so and so so just click on type quit and again check help command name remove selected server select it and then paste and hit on enter you say are you sure you want to remove the server object scene is going to do k3 f and this is 0 1 okay yes so here's a warning, the server in question should already be offline permanently and never return to the service. If it comes back online, the server object will be revived. Click on yes to continue. Okay, that's it, done. Right, quit, quit and exit. Just refresh on default site. So the name is no more and Android 2K 3 up and this is 01, there's no NTDS settings and similarly. Here's a link, but let's refresh. After some time, that will be marked as a delete. Del will be here. So under domain controller, just refresh. And now, as you are seeing, we just only have a 2k12r2 hyphen dc02 and similar under DNS management. Under DNS, you just have a single entries, and if you find out under uh, DCs, under site, and try to find out about records about 2K3F and DC01, there's a new So that's the benefits of using the metadata cleanup utilities. So metadata cleanup also removes the file uh, replication service, means FRS and uh, DFS replications connections also. So that will be when you perform a metadata cleanup, uh, FRS and DFS replication connection is also removed from Active Directory to main service. So that's it for this video demonstration. Thanks for watching this video.